So here we have the LG C3. Let's go ahead and start off with the setup process. During the setup, you'll come across the screen where you can toggle on AI Picture Pro and AI Sound Pro. AI Picture Pro improves the upscaling of low resolution content to a higher resolution. It enhances dynamic tone mapping, which is a technique used to adjust the brightness and contrast of individual parts of a video scene dynamically. This helps reveal more details and depth in the picture. It also detects important objects within the content, such as people's faces, and then refines these objects to provide a more lifelike HDR picture quality. Basically, it's designed to enhance the picture quality with the press of a button. As for the AI Sound Pro, it analyzes the audio from the content you're watching or listening to and identifies different elements of the audio such as dialogues, background music, and sound effects to optimize them for better clarity and balance. It also creates a more immersive audio experience by adjusting the spatial aspect of the sound to create a more three-dimensional surround sound-like experience. For my use, I just have the AI Sound Pro feature on. I think it improves the sound quality of the built-in TV speakers enough for me to not have to use a soundbar for casual viewing and gaming. OLED TVs are known for their slim and minimal design, and the LG C3 is no different. It's got a premium look with a sleek metal finish that looks good no matter where you place it. All the ports are located on the back left side of the TV for easy access. It's got an IR blaster, optical digital audio port, an antenna input, ethernet port, four HDMI 2.1 ports with one of them supporting eARC and three USB ports. As for the stand, it's got a nice metallic finish. It's a pedestal stand, so you know, you won't be able to put a soundbar underneath the TV, but it does, however, elevate the screen around two inches above the table, so most soundbars should fit without blocking the screen. Like all LG smart TVs, the LG C3 uses LG's WebOS. It's a simple and an intuitive OS with its own app store. It also supports Apple AirPlay and voice assistants like Alexa and Google. Now, the remote might not look as modern as the TV, but it does get the job done. It's ergonomic, I can partially control my gaming console with the TV's remote, and I can even wave it around like a wand where a cursor will appear, allowing me to navigate through the TV, kind of like the controllers in a VR headset. Here's one feature I noticed this remote doesn't have that I noticed on other OLED TVs, and it's the ability to illuminate its buttons something to keep in mind. The picture quality of this TV lives up to the OLED hype. Perfect black levels, 10-bit wide color gamuts with vibrant colors, and a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz. The C3 supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG, with a peak brightness of over 800 nits when viewing HDR content. The viewing experience on this TV is excellent, though the true motion setting, LG's motion smoothening feature, might cause judder here and there, so you might have to adjust it depending on the content. But besides that, movies, TV shows look great on this TV. Here's a look at all the different picture modes. First one's standard. This is a default picture mode that provides balanced settings for general viewing. Next is cinema mode. This is designed to deliver a more accurate and cinematic picture. It typically provides a warmer color temperature and more natural colors. Then there's sports. This mode emphasizes motion handling and color balance, making it suitable for watching fast paced sports content. Next one is called game optimizer. Like the name says, it's optimized for gaming and often includes settings to reduce input lag and enhance motion handling. Then there's filmmaker mode. 
This mode is designed to replicate the way content is mastered in the movie industry. It's basically made to provide a pure viewing experience the way the filmmaker intended. Lastly, there's an expert mode. These modes allow advanced users to fine tune and calibrate various picture and audio settings to achieve a highly customized and precise viewing experience. To make calibrating even easier, there's a personalized picture wizard. With the help of AI deep learning technology, the C3 can get you the picture quality you like based on the images you pick. Pretty cool. Gosa Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the midnight sun, prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the sorcerer supreme. Be silent. Your unique energy is surprised at Whoa. I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. Gaming on this TV has been a great experience. When a console or PC is connected, it will automatically recognize it and turn on Game Optimizer. This is where you can keep track of your FPS, Toggle VRR, G-Sync, and AMD FreeSync Premium. You can also turn on Auto Low Latency Mode, Cycle Through Dark Room Mode. You can even have a multi-view window going on if you want. And you can, of course, customize the hub to have your preferred settings be displayed, as well as pick from three different color schemes. Now, here are some gameplay footages played on the PlayStation 5. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive. So, hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge, but after the Bridge of the Dam, we did use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Elmheim. The bridgekeeper reminds of Mitch, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, it should lead us straight to it.
With all that being said, that pretty much wraps up this video. Initially, the C3 might have been overshadowed due to its incremental upgrades and pricing in comparison to the C2. However, with the current pricing parity, the C3 certainly deserves a closer look if you're in the market for an OLED TV.